the best moments here in the morning morning market. Yeah, super super meat and super seller. <laughs> the best pork seller here in this market, and uh, we're going to have a barbecue today together with our friends. <laughs> Hi guys, this is Marina and channel Made in Rusland. What I want to say, we live in a very strange time. You know, our um, currency, our Russian currency, ruble, rises and, uh, and falls and again rises and again falls. We don't understand what's going on, but we're very happy that prices in our local market are the same and nothing has changed and today we spent time at dacha and i would like to show you everything interesting what russians can grow at dacha and what we need we need to buy some um, shrimps to cook it in hawaiian style and you see price price for shrimps this um, average price is 900 rubles or one kilo. <laughs> wow, and just have a look. And, and then what's here? Red caviar, black caviar, and sturgeon. You see, 3,500 rubles for sturgeon. And this is my favorite section here and this local market you see trout is for 850 rubles and uh, sea bass and dorada what's going on with the light my dear friends from Novorossiysk, it's southern part of russia uh, not far from the places of special military operation. They're really shocked because prices here in Moscow are twice cheaper than in their southern hot region. For example, cherry, price for cherry is uh, 200 rubles for one kilo. This is very, very rich market, you know? Mm. Strawberry in the end of August. Mmm, and wonderful grape, plums, peaches, and now it's a great season for melons and watermelons, and of course figs. Do you know what's these figs? It's really so delicious, 300 rubles for one kilo. Oh, I want to show you a little bit uh, closer fix. These are not, not two different kinds. Uh, green, I think uh, they're not so ripe. And uh, these violet fix are, are so juicy. 300 rubles, yes. Three dollars for one kilo. Hmm. And what a wonderful pictures. As for me, I adore tomatoes. And what about you? Um, these tomatoes drive me mad, really. And its price is only 80 rubles, less than one dollar, and even 60 rubles for one kilo. Uh, plums. Mm, it's so good for your stomach. 150 rubles for one kilo. Oh, and what about melons? Eight rubles for kilo. Very tasty melon torpedo. So big, I think it's one million kilos. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, have a look at this uh, sparkling grape. Mm. As for me, I adore our local markets. Guys, I do this uh, mood here. And of course, I do this uh, abundance. I want to buy it all. And you know what's this? 
if you like to cook, if you like to prepare for winter time pickled uh, vegetables, for example cucumbers, you have to buy this, these greens, uh, just for fragrance. Mm, it smells so nice. And this is what? Ginger. And what about avocado? I don't see price. And uh, so I think um, uh, we will buy melon and, uh, and peaches. And that's enough. Uh, local cheeses are, are the best here. Just have a look. Uh, it's a, a Caucasian style. Do you remember my videos from Caucasus Mountains? I showed you uh, almost the same cheeses, but here in Moscow you can buy it as well. Guys, do you like to eat sushi and rolls? And um, this is Philadelphia cheese. Uh, it's uh, widely spread in cooking rolls, you know? It's very, very delicious cheese, soft cheese. Mm. I am cheese eater, I love all this. And this is a cottage cheese, very good for your health. Do you know how many kilos is our melon? 16 kilos! <laughs> it's very heavy. And we have to come back to our car and we're going to celebrate, I don't know what, but uh, every day we celebrate something. We're going to visit our friends at Dacha. Local market, goodbye. See you after a few days. <laughs> Привет. Almost all Russians have their own dachas. Small house in the village. And um, have a look, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> and I see my girls. Wow, what are they doing? Tomatoes. Tomatoes, cherry. Ah, what a cherry mm -hmm. can, we take, yeah. can I try? Mm. 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 Sweet, sweet tomato. And what's here? Bell pepper. Mm. There are a great deal of different kinds, different sorts of tomatoes and uh, bell peppers very nice very nice and we have a big bucket <laughs> what's there i don't have dacha i've never had dacha but i love to visit duchess of my friends just for weekend to cook kebab and something and you see the house is very very pretty <laughs> i am not a, an expert at all in gardening but i think it's uh, zucchini small zucchini yet and different flowers and lettuce, strawberry, and apple trees. <clears throat> you see, you don't need to visit local markets you can grow everything at dacha mm.
and the second house is the open kitchen. This is for our future kebab and barbecue. Firewoods are ready already. And this is the corner of roses and and what's here for meditation, a corner for meditation. And you see if there is no fence and you can visit your neighbors every time you want. And it's a wonderful blue terrace. We're going to have a dinner with friends right here. And Lena, the owner of this dacha, has already cooked a perfect cabbage pie in Russian style. Mmm, looks great. With a special garlic sauce. Oh, wonderful, wonderful pumpkin! Uh, it's small yet, but it's so beautiful. I go bananas. Ah, and one more pumpkin. My dear viewers, write down in comments what are in your gardens. What would you like to grow? What's your harvest this year? It's so peaceful and quiet atmosphere. Just have a look. I admire all this. This is old-fashioned toilet. Of course, they have modern toilet uh, inside the house, inside Dutch house, but this is like, it's like a tradition to have this kind of toilets. You see? Right in the garden. Oh my gosh, have a look. The sweetest moments. Mm. I think the taste is... Oh, the taste is unbelievable. Mm. It's like forest strawberry. Mm. Mm. Okay, if you don't mind, I will spend all my time here. Mm. My dear viewers, I'm a strawberry eater, and you? Mm. I don't have hands to switch off the camera, that's why I'm sorry. I will do it with you. Mm. Zucchini babies! Uh, hello! Sooner or later you will be great! Five or seven kilos zucchini! And what about plum tree? I see girls are eating plums! Mm, plum tree! I don't see plums. And you? Oh! Oh! <laughs> right in my head! Oh! <laughs> oh! This is our great melon, and this barrel is is suitable for for cooling <laughs> for cooling melon. Old Russian tradition, guys. It was the dacha of uh, my friend's parents. They are all people, they are already 90 years old and there are a great deal of old-fashioned things. Have a look at this sharp cassette audio system. It's great, yes? <laughs> and have a look what we bought for, um, for our kebab to, together with meat. This is traditional bread from Uzbekistan. It's really very nice and hot, still, still warm. We have 
seven loaves for ten people. I want to show you Dacha house. Just have a look. I mentioned about antique things. These wardrobes and all these small uh, statues are from Soviet era. Of course, not only from Soviet era. And this is a kitchen where we are going to cook kebab. You see, meat is is ready already, and it's gonna be prawns in Hawaiian style. And again, 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 old-fashioned things. And my friend Lena, the owner of this dacha, is cooking a wonderful Russian dish for us. Parado with the, with what? With chicken. Mm. Too much food, I think. Lena. <laughs> Too much food for today. For today's lunch. <laughs> uh, let's see what's inside. What's here? Inside the house. It's it's so cool here hello it's me and this is russian traditional stove because after one month or one month and a half it's going to be very cold in our moscow region and uh, elena uh, usually spend uh, here vacations on weekends and she needs these uh, firewoods uh, just to heat this stove. Ah, chandelier. No, it's not chandelier, it's lamp. And this is her shaman ritual things. It's not a modern style dacha, it's old-fashioned dacha but we like it and the smell here is ancient smell a little bit the smell of um, old things antique things and let's see what's in the next room again soviet wardrobe <laughs> and soviet beds it's very cozy in my opinion it reminds me previous times And this is the opposite side of this Russian traditional stove. Of course, it's hot, it's warm, you know, that um, these breaks can um, keep the heat for a long time. And so it's rather, rather warm in the house, even if it is snowing outside. And curtains are also from Soviet period. Truth be told, I don't know what's, uh, what is located upstairs, because I've never been there. Maybe it's a storage or something. Let's see, together. Traditionally, uh, people have two floors, um, dacha. Oh, it's like a sleeping room with balcony. Oh my god, do you remember these TV sets? Yeah, the smell of ancient times is everywhere here. And all old Soviet toys Oh, it's not the only one old TV sets here. I see his uh, older brother, <laughs> bigger brother. <sighs> and this is what? I have no ideas. I think it's 
something for heating maybe. Yeah, it's kind of storage. Okay. And one more sacred room. Old Soviet people, I used to keep old newspapers, old books, carpets, and they never throw it away. That's why they need a special room, special place in the house to keep all this. I don't know what for, but it's their own custom. <sighs> If you are a fan of antique things, you can come here at Lena's Dacha and um, try to find something interesting. Uh, it's not for me, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I love to shoot a video about my friends uh, are cooking something, something very interesting, and, and dogs, uh, dogs help us always. And you see, our uh, grandfathers and grandmothers, they collect everything all things at home i mentioned before they mm -hmm. didn't throw it away now we have a chance to admire all this oh we have a special surprise for all people you know that uh, what's this um, do you remember my video about cooking pilaf so this is kazan a special dish for cooking but we are going to cook not pilaf but shrimps in Caribbean style or in Hawaiian style I have no ideas and so many logs we need to cook here at the open fire I'm so greedy so I'm looking forward to eating something tasty for example for example this this raspberry it's not it's not a season for raspberry already and truly speaking I don't see raspberry mm. Elena told me that these are different types of roses this is English rose and this is French rose or vice versa <laughs> I don't remember rightly the best moments in our lives to meet with friends at dacha cooking together the air is so tasty here mm. if you are looking for something interesting you will definitely find it have you ever seen white strawberry oh. Yeah, it has a different taste. Mm. Mm, a little bit sour, but very tasty and fresh. <sighs> it's very hot to come close. I can't co come closer. Alona, how can you stand it? Как ты это выдерживаешь такую жару? Shrimps. Ай, 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 ай. Like, like French fries. <laughs> Shrimp fries. Mm. Mm, a special great recipe. <laughs> Are there any Hawaiian um, viewers or Caribbean, I don't know. <laughs> Will you tell me, please, uh, is it your recipe of your country? It's not. It's not Russian. <laughs> mm -hmm, and soy sauce. And no, 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 we have to mix it all. Oh. 
It's too hot here. Lena's dacha is located right on the edge of wonderful vast forest and I see um, you guests are coming with big watermelon hmm. Ah, not one watermelon, two watermelons What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. It's our storage, yes. <laughs> Only Russian. Only Russian. Uh, can do it, can yes. Do it. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Sergey. Three kisses, it's old Russian tradition. Russian tradition. Brilliant. Yes, guys, today, today, private video, private, really. But my friends allow me to film everything I want for you. All I do, I do for you. And especially shrimps in Kazan. While our friends are having lunch already, we continue cooking. Garlic. A lot of cut garlic. Then hot chili pepper. Red hot chili pepper. And lemon <laughs> with lemon juice, freshly squeezed by hands. It's something not ordinary for me. And now small cherry tomatoes and tomato paste and a little bit ketchup. It smells incredible. New dish in my life. This is very tasty. Tomato paste and tomatoes from from this garden. My mouth is watering. Oh. Mm. I feel like I'm somewhere in tropics. Uh, yes, it's time to add greens and, and sesame seeds. Mm, I want to eat it all. The whole kazan. Now you know the recipe. Try to do it. Try to cook it, my dear viewers. I think all, all necessary. Yes, sesame seeds. I think all necessary ingredients you you can buy in 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 every grocery store in your country. And don't forget to write down in comments your opinion about this wonderful, wonderful Caribbean prompts. Oh, guys, storm is coming, so we have to to do it quickly, quickly. How it looks like under the rain. Mm. Great cooking kebab. It's really storming. Yeah, it looks amazing, you see. I am ready to try. I am ready to try. One hot. Would you please give me one hot shrimp? <sighs> it's great. Perfect.
I hope you like my video today. It was really private life. Like we live every day. And here is the link to my best videos about Moscow underground stations.